Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert and I've got myself a copy of Tape, a new, as the name would suggest, tape emulation style plugin by Softube. Now, do we need another tape emulation plugin? Well, Softube thinks we do and uh, I've got to be honest, I'm quite pleased to see this as I've always felt that Softube are just the kings of making these kind of plugins that saturate and grit up and distort our audio. So, yes, that's two thumbs up already from me. Now let me give you a very quick overview of the GUI. So we've got left and right VU meters there, we've got three different styles of tape machine here, A, B and C, or as I like to sort of call them at the minute, A for airy, B for ballsy and C for creamy. You might think differently when you hear the examples but that's how I like to describe them. We've got tape speeds to the right of that there, uh, you can go right down to 1 and 7, 8, <laughs> which sounds quite interesting uh, you'll hear that later uh, or let's just keep it at studio here for the minute and we've got a mount next to this as well now you probably notice that there isn't an in and out control trim uh, that you would normally find on sort of tape saturation plugins soft tubes say that this is where most of your work is going to be done and it does carry a little warning underneath here I think it's quite funny warning high amounts can lead to desired distortion amazing that's what we want We've kind of got a hidden display or set of controls here as well. So wet dry, which is nice. You can play around with that and you'll get all sorts of tape flanging effects. Speed stability underneath that. So normal, you're going to be getting some sort of wobble to the sound. Stable to the left, none whatsoever. And of course, wobbly to the right. It's going to be going all over the place. But uh, yeah, I do quite like that. And high frequency trim underneath that. If you feel you want sort of more uh, dark tracks, you can dial this down or if you want to put a bit more brightness and air back into your tracks dial it the other way to bright and below that we've got cross talk now I know I said a second ago that we didn't have in and output trim controls now we do have them here if you do want to drive into tape a little bit more and balance the output down or vice versa you want slightly less of the effects but bring the output up we can do all that here and below that we have noise on and off and I must say the noise on this machine is really really low usually with tape saturation plugins and tape machines stuff you get in plugins they're quite noisy and you turn them off straight away but this I've got it on now and you can barely hear it and last but no means least we've got this pretty cool little creative feature we've got the tape stop and start up effects here as well and does that in real time so let's try this on a master and uh, let's hear what it can do straight in with the tape stop start effect it's lovely so type a let's drive it bypass Right, let's try it on B for ballsy. Hear that in the low ends. Just gives it more character. Let's try it on C for creamy. Slightly less focused lower mids. I do like it on B, personally, for this song. Let's play around now with the, the Ips. hear that <laughs> breaking up a little bit so let's uh, dull this down a little bit a little bit of wobble hear that in the Hammonds do some tape flanging with the mix dry and wet really nice. A little bit of the cross talk. Here right up the middle changing there. Nice, nice. So what are my final thoughts on tape by Softube? Well I must say I'm really quite taken with it. It's a really nice approach to the whole tape saturation thing. And it's also nice that we've got three different flavours of tape, uh, A, B and C. Personally, I really like this B for ballsy. It really sort of brings out all the meat in the low end. And, you know, if you're gentle with the amount, it can be really transparent. 
As well, I do really like this uh, dry wet control for getting those flangey effects you've heard on so many retro records. And this high frequency control as well. That's lovely. That's going to be really nice in mastering because often the top end can be shaped in such a way that you like it, but you just want to be able to shape it further without sort of adding more saturation. So that's lovely. That's really nice. Softube offer a 20 day free trial of this. So head on over to the Softube website, have a go with it and let us know your thoughts about tape in the comments below. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert and I'll catch you next time.